Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, my lesson is on finding the surface area of prisms and pyramids. So our objectives today are that you, the student, will use two-dimensional nets to represent a three-dimensional solid, and we will find the surface area of rectangular and triangular prisms and pyramids. So here's the question I want you thinking about. How are finding area and finding surface area related and how are they different? So drawing on prior knowledge is really important. You've already got all the resources. You've learned all the facts that you need to know, all the concepts to solving these problems today. It's a matter of putting together everything you know into solving these problems. So let's begin. So to review what a prism is, a prism is a solid three-dimensional figure with two congruent sides that are parallel. So a solid, it's just three-dimensional. So a solid could mean that you're talking about a can, a can of vegetables. It could be a box of cereal. It could be a piece of fruit. Those are solids. So we talk about that they have three dimensions, length, width, and height. And this is a rectangular prism because the two parallel bases to each other are rectangles. And on a rectangular prism, no matter which two opposite faces you pick, they're parallel and the same. And it could be on its side in length, width, and height. Those measurements are interchangeable. Then let's talk about, so your rectangular prism is anything, any box, really, any square rectangular box. A triangular prism is still three-dimensional. We have length, and then we call this height and base because we have a triangle. And this one is on its side. So there is a difference here. You call, you name a prism, by the parallel bases that are the same. And if you look at this triangular prism, the only two faces that are parallel to each other are the triangular faces. Whether it's standing up on its base or it's on its side, the two triangles are parallel, opposite and parallel faces, and they are triangles. So that's why we call it a triangular prism. No matter how you arrange this prism, there's two parallel faces and they're all rectangles. So on this one, this is really the base and height of our triangle, and this is the height of our prism. But it could be interchangeable with L, as long as you understand the bits and pieces of what you are finding. Remember, the height to any object must be perpendicular to its base. So when we're looking at this triangle right here, we do not want to use these side measurements to find the area of the triangle. We need the height, which is perpendicular to its base. So a triangle has a very specific base and height. A pyramid is a solid three-dimensional figure where at least three triangular faces and they meet at a point. So think of an ice cream cone. That is a, a cone. We call it a cone because of the circle, but it meets at a point. This solid right here is a rectangular pyramid because the base is a rectangle. And then we have the height of the pyramid. So you have the length and width of the rectangle and the height of the pyramid. Here's a triangular pyramid because we have a triangular base and the three faces that connect. So each side of the triangle has a triangular face that meets at a point. So this has the base plus three other faces, so a total of four faces, whereas this rectangular pyramid has a base and then each side to the rectangle has a triangular face that meet at this point. So this has four triangles plus the rectangular base for five faces. So five faces, four faces. So that leads me into what we're going to do next. We're going to talk about finding surface area. When we're finding the surface area of a solid, we're finding the area of each face and adding them together. So think about needing to know how much paint you need to paint a room, how much wrapping paper to wrap a box, how much cardboard to make a box. This is the surface area, okay? So we have two ways to do this. Strategy number one is on our state test here in Massachusetts, they have a total surface area formula provided to students on their reference sheet. So I would check your state and the testing, and I never ask my students to memorize this. But here's the catch. The only solid that has a surface area formula that you can use and just plug and chug is a right rectangular prism. Anything else, you have to formulate your own formula. 
So I'm going to show you this strategy and then I'm going to show you a different strategy. So the first part to this strategy would be to go to your reference sheet, whatever formula sheet your teacher has provided, and write down the surface area formula if you know you have a rectangular prism. The next thing is you want to identify a length, a width, and a height. And you could write these. I could say the length is 12, the width is 5, and the height is 4. You could have done it different. You could have said the width was 12, the length was 5, and the height was 4. It will come out the same as long as you make yourself a little note and that you've represented each dimension. So the next thing we're going to do is take our formula and plug in what we know. So now I just need to come to my notes and say that I need length and width. Length and width are 12 and 5. So 2 times 12 times 5 and then 2 times height and width. My height and width are 5 and 4 and my length and height are 12 and 4. So I've plugged it all in. Now I just need to do the math. So I'm going to do in the parentheses first. 12 times 5 is 60. 4 times 5 is 20. 12 times 4 is 48. And then we're going to multiply each one of those products by 2. 2 times 60 is 120. 2 times 20 is 40. 2 times 48 is 96. Add them all together and I get 256. And we need to add our units and when we're talking about area it's always square units so square inches now let's talk about this formula why there's twos here this face right here four by five is also over here four by five the bottom of this is 12 by five that means the top is also 12 by five and then the front and back faces are 12 by four so when you have a rectangular prism you have six faces and there are three pairs of two faces that all have the same measurement. So this is why this formula works. Now let's look at a second strategy. The second strategy is to make a net or count the number of faces and make a plan. But this is what a net would look like. And you could make your little flaps here be further down, okay, as long as you've got all your measurements here. So I started with my bottom, my 12 by 5, so you can see my 12 by 5 bottom right there. And then I went up the back, so 12 by 5, and then I have this 4 by 12 section, 4 by 12, so that's the back, what I would call the back. Here's the top of my box, 5 by 12, so you can see I'm just kind of unwrapping it. And then this last side, which is 4 by 12. My side, you've got to be very careful here, so notice this side is 5, and when I undo this whole side, it has this height of 4. So if I flip this up, flip this up, I can see that I have 20s. So I'm going to find, use my net to find the area of each face. So 4 by 5 is 20, 12 by 5 is 60, 4 by 5 is 20, 4 by 12 is 48, 5 by 12 is 60, and 4 by 12 is 48. Noticing that I have pairs, two 20s, two 60s, and two 48s. So my front and my back, my two sides, and my top and my bottom. Some students like to make an organized list and say, I have six faces, I have a front and a back, I have two sides, and I have a top and a bottom to my box. So you can make it's really three strategies here, right? So the first one was use the formula, second, make a net, or three, make an organized list. So we're going to add all of these faces of their areas together, and we get that we have 256 square inches, just like we got in our previous slide. All right. So now let's go over finding the surface area of a triangular prism. This does not have a formula, okay? So we have to make a plan. So we're gonna make a net, or you could count the number of faces. I'm gonna show you both. So you have two triangles and three different rectangles. This is huge to know this. Because I have a triangle that has a base and a height of 5 and 12, and I know this because they're perpendicular to each other, and then I have this third side, which is 13. So because I have three different sides lengths to my triangle, I know I'm going to have three different rectangles. So here's my net. You can see my three different sides, my 5 by 3 side. I have my 3 by 12 side, which is this back side right here. See this back side, 12 by 3 on that dashed line. And then I have the front, 13 by 3. And then I have my triangular flaps that make my top 
5 by 12 and 5 by 12. So now we're going to go find the area of the triangle. Each triangle is 5 by 12. And when I plug that in, 1 half of 12 times 5 is uh, 30. We get 1 half of 12 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30. And that's our triangle. We'll note that we have two of them um, a little bit later. Okay. And then we go over here and we have rectangle 1. 5 by 3, rectangle 2, 3 by 12, and rectangle 3, 3 by 13. So 15, 5 times 3 is 15, 3 times 12 is 36, and 3 times 13 is 39. Now remember, you are still got to think, because if you just go and add all these numbers together, you only have four faces. 1, 2, 3, 4. We have five faces. We have two triangles and three rectangles. So remember, we need two of these. So our surface area is the two triangles and each of the three rectangular faces. You add them together and you get 150, which is 150 square meters. So that's how you find it for a triangular prism. Let's talk about a pyramid. So first I want you to think about how many faces there are to this pyramid. And we have our base, which is a square, and I know it because the sides are the same, three by three. And because it's a square and it has four sides, that means I'm going to have four triangular faces that meet at this point. So I have a total of five faces here. So that means I need to find the area of five different two-dimensional faces. So I have one square base and I have four triangles that are all the same because that is a square. So the area of square is base times height or side squared, which is three by three, which is nine. And then my triangles all are found by finding one half the base times the height. My base is three, my height is four. One half of three times four is six. Three times four is 12 and half of 12 is six. Now I gotta go back to thinking about my plan. I need to find the surface area and I have the one square and four of the triangular faces for a surface area of 33 meters squared. So your turn. This has been a lot of information. I'd like you to pause the video, find the surface area of this prism using the strategy you think works best for you. Come back when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So I'm going to use the formula. Not many times we get to use it, so I'm going to practice using this. I'm going to identify my length, my width, and my height. And plug them in. So length times width is 6 times 12. Height times width is 3 and 12. And length and height are 6 and 3. So 2 times 72 plus 2 times 36 plus 2 times 18. I'm just finding the products of my dimensions. 2 times 72 is 144. 2 times 36 is 72, and 2 times 18 is 36. Add them all together for a surface area of 252 square inches. Another one for you to try. Here is a triangular prism. So remember, make a plan. How many faces do you have? Are they the same or different? So you can make a net or your own formula. Go ahead and pause. Come back when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So I noted that there are five faces. I have two triangular faces that are parallel to each other, making this the triangular prism. And I have three rectangular faces. So I have two triangles, the, the bases, and they're the same. And then I have three different rectangles. So my triangle formula, one half base times height. My triangles are five by 12 for an area of 30, just like in a previous problem. And the area of rectangle one is gonna be my bottom, two by 12, which is 24. Rectangle two, which is my top, two by 13. And my third is gonna be this side, five by two. So I've accounted for all five faces two triangles, 30 plus 30, and my three rectangular faces, 
all have a sum of 120 for surface area of 120 square inches. All right, now I'd like you to find this area of this pyramid. Go ahead and pause, come back when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So five faces here. We have one square base, it's four by three, 4.3 by 4.3, and then four triangular faces, one on each side that comes to this point. Oh, ignore my typo here, this is a pyramid. So we have the square base, 4.3 times 4.3, which is 18.49, and my triangle, area equals the base times the height. So my base is 4.3, and my height that's perpendicular is 6. So for an area of each triangular face of 12.9, so my surface area is going to be my one square and my four triangles for a total sum of 70.09 um, square centimeters. So I hope you found this helpful and that you have a few strategies to help you find the surface area of prisms and pyramids. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and have a great day.